take for this co-main event. We have Stoyan 29, Kalinyuk 27. The height and reach advantage going to Stoyan. His professional record, 11 wins versus just one loss. Fighting out of Romania, here is Soren Ronin Kalinyuk. His professional record, 18 wins with six losses. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Bulgaria, ladies and gentlemen, here is Stoyan, the sniper, Kovalevsky. The height and reach advantage going to Stoyan. How can Kalinyuk work his way inside? The atmosphere in the arena is crazy. Everybody is here to Stoyan, every single person. It's sure. even more crazy than when Badr came in. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you got to think, every time Stoyan's going to land something, we're going to hear the crowd erupt. Yeah, Stoyan told me before the fight, every time I hit him, say, ooh-wee, like in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, get that crowd excited. We can already see here Stoyan using the distance and the kicks more than Sorin. Sorin needs to find a way to counter him when he comes in. Stoyan looking extra ripped in for this fight. He's, he's got abs on abs, veins on veins. Yeah, he's great You shape. can see he's ready. And you can see already Sorin, a bit more of the boxing guy, of course, uses the legs, but a bit more power puncher with boxing. Yep. Stoyan staying long and technical, which was one of my main keys for him tonight. He wants to keep that long range with those front kicks, the jab, and he keeps sliding out like that. This is kind of the classical, what we have, kicker against puncher, tempo against power, precision. There's those counters we were talking about for Soren. For now, it looks that Soren doesn't have any, any, any clearance for Stoyan techniques. Stoyan is doing mostly whatever he wants. Kalinio there in the red shorts looking for that overhand right. Oh, mostly for his boxing, but we're seeing that left kick come alive. Here comes Stoyan with those big punches and knees. Sorin, I think, needs to pressure a little bit better with that high guard. Just makes him go back, cut him to the corner, and then throw a big combination. Or make him miss and make him pay. Yep, I agree. He can't just keep moving back. He needs to keep bringing that pressure. Here comes Stoyan, though, but... Kalinyuk countering back right away. And we already know that Soyan can keep this pace the whole fight, even for the five rounds. He's a really good tempo fighter kind of guy with the long leg kicks. I'm liking when Stoyan uses those long front kicks too with those long legs. One of the things we've seen with Stoyan since he came to glory, his boxing keeps getting better as well. Yeah, he's, a, he's not classical like a power puncher, but he kills you with a tempo. High, low, kicks, knees, everything. And a lot of combinations. Yeah, he makes you guess if he's going to box, kick, or knee you up the middle. Sharp pull counters from Kapovinsky. As Kalinyuk waves his head to say no. Great round for Stoyan. He needs to make some adjustments. We have Kapovinsky in the white gloves. Kalinyuk in the black. All the judges giving it to Kaprovinsky oh. as he gets a head kick and drops. Kalinyuk. Three, four, five. This was a classical Stoyan combo. Low, up, high kick. Not the first time he did it, and I'm sure not the last one. And here is the crowd's alive. Stoyan's trying to open up with his combinations. He's been keeping Kalinyuk from guessing as he takes his high kick upstairs. Sorin, really good with the, after the knockdown. He just get up and continue like nothing happened. Here comes the crowd cheering on Stoyan. They want a knockout. Oh, good knee with Stoyan to the body and to the head. Yeah, he makes the first one to the head. The second one went to the liver. Now he's going to use those front kicks to set up those knees. 
Stojan just here needs to be careful not to open too much to get the big counter for Sorin if he wants to win. And Sorin Kaliniuk found some left hooks there in these exchanges. But Stoyan goes back upstairs for the head kick. You can see that Sorin is dangerous all the time. Even when he eats a high kick, he throws a full power right hook after it. Yep, he makes sure if he's going to eat one, he's going to give you something back. If you're going to eat one working your way in, you better throw something. I would just like to see him more do more pressure and cut the corner for Stoyan and make him pay for his mistake. Ooh, he found a good right hand, Kalinja. Maybe even some low kicks or calf kicks from Kalinja could do well. Right now, he's just concentrating on boxing, nothing else. And after that left hook, left hook counter, I would like to see a little bit more combination. Left hook, right straight, yep. left up. I agree, the single shot's not enough. He needs to kind of step in. See, he misses, but he needs to follow it up. Like that, yep. put those combinations together. Nice counter game for both gentlemen. It looks like Stein is just right now picking him apart. Yeah, he's really looking for those knees. You see him go up, down, hands, legs, middle kicks. Yeah, front kick, round kick, head yeah. kicks. Good strike variety from Stoyan Koprivlinski. Makes you guessing all the fight. Stoyan starting to use some feints now. Kalinjuk needs to find a way to enter and counter. There's something there. He's pressuring. It was just a slip. Yeah, especially when Kaplinski is slipping back. He's got to be careful. Ooh, we can see here the highlights from the round. And Stoyan, like one guy, smart said already, more combination than McDonald's McMenu. <laughs> You go. I like that one. More combinations than a McDonald's menu is Stoyan Koprivlinski as he's up 10 8 from round two. 2017 on all five judges. Yeah, good round for Stoyan. Just not needs to keep the fight till the end and he won the fight easy. You think Stoyan would still open up or would he, is the technical approach? He is, he is a technical approach, but because of his home crowd, I think he will try to finish the fight. Yeah, I think once the crowd starts cheering, I think he's going to start going. He ju just needs to watch out to not open too much for something silly to happen. It will be a shame for all of this he did till now. But at the same time, if I was in his shoes, I would be going forward. Yeah, sometimes though it's your offense is the good defense. If you lay back too much, you're gonna let Kalinja come forward like that. We now see Kalinja just going forward and hitting a good shot from Stoyan. It looks like he finally found his rhythm. Yep, Stoyan using that high guard, chopping away with his legs and knees. But Kalinja is continuing to press forward. Kalinja needs to keep this pressure up if he wants to win. Just keep hitting up, down, low kicks. Cannot be concentrating just on hands. Kalinjuk needs something big here. Now when he comes in with, he needs a little, little longer combination to catch Stoyan because Stoyan is longer, he exiting, he's so much out. And you can see Kalinjuk continuing to pressure. He has to get inside, but he needs to bring more offense. I know he's tired, but Stoyan laying back is giving him an opportunity. Yeah, Stoyan is now on the back leg going going out and it, it's a risky situation to get hit from the right hand now and get you down. I think Stoyan is trying to keep it safe a little bit. Ooh. Trying to keep it safe, but he just ate a big shot there. More effort. Not a good body language from Stoyan right now. The body language for Sorin look much better right now. Both strike, both fighters looking like they landed the same amount, but it's damage that matters. Oh, oh slip from Kofelinski there in the corner. We have 15 seconds left in this fight. 
And we see that Sorin can do some surprising. Now he's just moving backward, picking his shot. As Stoyan Kafrilinski gets a win here at home, avenges his loss. He's got, he's got a huge following and a fan base here in Bulgaria, and he was able to put on a show for his home. As Stoyan Kafrilinski took on Soren Kalinyuk. I think the mistake Soren did, he wake up a little too late, the same as Tavares. He's supposed to start with that pressure and everything he was doing in a second round if he wanted to win. You can see that it started working, but Stoyan just did so much point before that it was too late for everything. Yep, Stoyan's offense was fantastic in those first two rounds. Really didn't give Kalunyuk much, but in this third round, he came alive. Yeah, he wake up and just decided, I go forward, don't stay, not, don't going to make a step back and just going to finish him. But it was too late for that. Well, a fantastic fight. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Stoyan Kovac.